If you're creating a song here in GarageBand on your iPhone or your iPad, but the instrument you've chosen is just not doing it for you, in this video, I'm gonna show you how you can quickly and easily change up that instrument to a different sound and make your tracks really pop. Let's go. Hi, my name is Pete and welcome to Studio Live today and another GarageBand quick jam video. In this one, I'm gonna show you how to change the virtual instrument on your track. So if you've watched any of the previous videos, you'll know that we've got a heap of instruments here in GarageBand, keyboards, organs, synth sounds, and a whole lot more. But what if you've chosen a sound and then want to change it? Well, no problem. It's super simple to do. And in this video, I'll show you how. So here we are in GarageBand. This is my track called Imagination. And I've got a few virtual instrument tracks here. And at the moment, it sounds like this. But what if I wanted this synth keys to be something a bit different, this synth piano? Well, all I need to do is actually tap here in the top left on the keyboard icon, and then right here in the middle where it's got faded keys, I can tap on that one, and I can choose any other instrument, anything here from where I am, or I can select anything from here. I can even go all the way back to my main categories and pick anything I like. So I can choose any different instrument. I can go into my synth pads, my FX, even other instruments. So what if this was to be a French horn. Well, we can choose that and find out if we wanted a French horn instead. Yeah, maybe not right, but it's all good because we can change it again. We just tap in the middle there and we can go back to something else. What if we go back into our alchemy synth and we wanted another synth organ here? What about something like our clean organ sound from the flex and flow pack? Hit done there and then hit play. Not bad. Something interesting there. Now, if you are on an iPhone as opposed to an iPad, it's gonna be in a slightly different location. And you can see that on your screen now. You need to go to the top left once you're in your instrument and then drop that down, tap on that, and you can change it there. It's very simple to do and it gives you so much flexibility because any of these different sounds can actually be changed up and made anything that you want them to be. So we can change up any of our other sounds. If we wanted something, this soul organ, if we wanted this to be something different, Different, same thing we tap on the keyboard we tap here in the organ we can change it to an electric piano anything else that we like and suddenly we've got some very different sounds in our track I hope you found this useful. There's two more videos all about GarageBand linked down there and a heap more down in the description for you to check out. You can subscribe to the channel by clicking or tapping on the Studio Live Today icon and I'm going to see you on the next video.